Welcome back today we'll explore the top 6 most valuable USA wheat 1 cent coins in today's auction market. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just getting started these coins could be worth a fortune. Let's get started. First up the 1937 Abraham Lincoln wheat penny. Without a mint mark, this coin might look like just another old penny to some, but to collectors it's a piece of history. But what's it really worth in today's auction market, especially in bad condition? Let's find out. Before we get into the value, let's take a quick look at the history of this coin. The Abraham Lincoln Wheat Penny was first minted in 1909 to commemorate the 100th anniversary of Lincoln's birth. It was the first U.S. coin to feature a president, and it became a favorite among collectors and the general public alike. The 1937 penny, part of this long-running series, was minted during the latter years of the Great Depression. It was a time when every penny counted, and these coins circulated heavily often becoming worn down over the years. This is why so many of these pennies are found in less than perfect condition today. The 1937 Lincoln Wheat Penny was produced in three different mints. Philadelphia Denver Dandy San Francisco The coin we're focusing on today is from the Philadelphia Mint, which as mentioned does not have a mint mark. The absence of a mint mark indicates it was produced in Philadelphia, the main production facility for U.S coins at the time. The obverse front of the coin features the iconic portrait of Abraham Lincoln, designed by Victor David Brenner. The word liberty appears to the left of Lincoln, and the date 1937 is found on the right. Above Lincoln's head is the phrase in God we trust. The reverse back of the coin showcases two wheat stalks, one on each side framing the words one cent and United States of America, the motto e pluribus unum, is inscribed along the top. Now, when it comes to coin collecting condition, is everything coins are graded on a scale from poor to mint state Mississippi 70, with numerous grades in between. A coin in bad condition typically falls into the about good or good range. These coins show significant wear details are often faint, and there might be cratches, discoloration, or other damage. For the 1937 wheat penny without a mint mark in bad condition, the coin will show heavy wear. Lincoln's face might be smoothed out, the date may be faint, and the wheat stalks on the reverse could be barely visible. However, even in this state, the coin still holds some value. So what's this coin worth in today's market? In bad condition, the 1937 Lincoln Wheat Penny, without a mint mark, generally sells for about $97,000 at auction, or to collectors, that might not seem like much, but it's important to remember that this coin was minted in the millions, and it's not particularly rare. However, its value isn't just about the monetary amount for collectors, especially those interested in assembling complete date sets. Even a coin in poor condition can be a valuable addition to their collection. Some buyers may also have sentimental value attached to these pennies, remembering them as a piece of history from their childhood or passed down from older relatives. In conclusion, while a 1937 Lincoln wheat penny without a mint mark in bad condition might not make you rich, it's still a piece of American history that has its own unique value. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just someone who stumbled across this coin in a jar of loose change, it's worth taking a closer look and appreciating its place in our past. Next up the 1950s Abraham Lincoln Wheat Penny, whether you're a seasoned numismatist or just starting out understanding the value of this classic piece, is essential, so let's explore what this coin is worth in today's auction market when found in fine condition. Scene transition historical footage of the 1950s with images of minting presses at work and people using pennies in everyday transactions, first, let's take a step back in time to understand the significance of this coin. The 1950s Lincoln Wheat Penny was minted at the San Francisco Mint as indicated by the S Mint mark below the date. During this era, the U.S. Mint produced millions of these pennies, but not all coins were created equal in terms of rarity and value. With the post-World War II economy in full swing, Pennies like this were a common sight in circulation, however as time passed many of these coins were lost damaged or heavily worn making well-preserved specimens increasingly rare and valuable today now. Let's take a closer look at the specific characteristics that make the 1950s wheat penny stand out. This coin features the familiar bust of President Abraham Lincoln on the obverse with the words in God we trust inscribed above his head liberty to his left and the year 1950 to his right. Below the date you'll find the small but significant S mint mark which tells us it was minted in San Francisco. On the reverse side you'll see the iconic wheat ears flanking the words one cent with United States of America beneath above. The phrase e pluribus unum is etched. A nod to the nation's mott condition plays a crucial role in determining the value of any coin and the 1950s wheat penny is no exception. Today we're focusing on coins in fine condition, 
But what does that mean? In the world of numismatics, a coin graded as fine typically shows moderate wear for the 1950s wheat penny. This means Lincoln's facial features are still distinct, though slightly worn. And the wheat ears on the reverse are visible but may lack some finer details. The overall design is clear, but the high points of the coin will show noticeable signs of circulation. Now let's get to the part you've all been waiting for. How much is a 1950s wheat penny in fine condition worth in? Today's auction market. As of recent auction data, a 1950s wheat penny in fine condition typically fetches between $545,000. While this may seem modest, it's important to remember that the value of a coin is influenced by a variety of factors, including its rarity demand among collectors and the specific auction venue. Keep in mind, coins with exceptional eye appeal, even within the fine grade, can sometimes achieve prices slightly above this range. Conversely, coins with additional issues, such as cleaning or corrosion, might sell for less. Although the 1950s wheat penny might not make you rich, it holds steady value for collectors, especially those looking to complete a wheat penny collection as more coins are lost or further degraded the supply of fine condition examples will naturally dwindle, potentially increasing their value in the long term. If you're considering investing in or selling this coin, it's a good idea to keep an eye on auction trends and consult with a numismatic expert to get the best possible price. Next up the 1955 Abraham Lincoln Wheat Penny with D-Mint Mark in Black Shed Dirty Condition. If you're a coin collector or simply curious about coin values, stick around as we uncover its worth in today's auction market. The 1955 Lincoln Wheat Penny, minted in Denver, is part of a series that has intrigued collectors for decades. This coin, often referred to by its mint mark, bears the D for the Denver Mint which played a crucial role in its production. The Wheat Penny introduced in 1909 to commemorate Abraham Lincoln's 100th birthday featured a design with Lincoln on the obverse and wheat stalks on the reverse. By 1955, the design was familiar to many, but the condition of the coin could vary greatly influencing its market value. Our focus today is the 1955 wheat penny. In black shed dirty condition, this term describes a coin that has experienced significant environmental damage resulting in a darkened, grimy appearance. Such coins are often less desirable to collectors due to their impaired aesthetics, but they still hold historical significance. 1955 wheat penny in black shed dirty condition is notably lower compared to its cleaner counterparts. Typically these coins can be found auctioning between while this might seem modest it's important to remember that the value of coins can fluctuate based on collector demand and market trending. To put this into perspective a 1955 wheat penny in mint or near mint condition can fetch significantly. Higher prices, often ranging from $90,000 depending on its grade, the stark contrast in value highlights how crucial coin condition is to its overall worth. For collectors interested in acquiring a 1955 wheat penny in poor condition, it's essential to check recent auction results and sales to get a precise idea of current values. While this particular penny might not command a high price, it's still a valuable piece of American numismatic history that wraps up our look at the 1955 Abraham Lincoln wheat penny with D mint mark in black shed dirty condition. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out understanding the nuances of coin grading and market values is key to building a valuable collection. Next up the 1958 Abraham Lincoln Wheat Penny, but here's the twist we're not talking about a pristine coin instead we're discussing one that's in dirty condition and has no mint mark so how much is this coin really worth in today's auction market? Stick around to find out first. Let's take a brief look at the history behind the 1958 Abraham Lincoln Wheat Penny. This coin marks the end of an era as it was the last year that the U.S. Mint produced the Wheat Penny series before transitioning to the Lincoln Memorial Reverse in 1959. The wheat ears on the reverse side are iconic symbolizing the nation's agricultural roots. The obverse features the familiar profile of Abraham Lincoln, designed by Victor David Brenner, whose initials can be found just below Lincoln's shoulder. Interestingly, 1958 wheat pennies without a mint mark were struck at the Philadelphia Mint. This was the most common mint which means the majority of these pennies are relatively abundant compared to their counterparts from other mints. Now let's talk about condition specifically for a coin in dirty condition. When we say dirty we mean a coin that has been circulated heavily and shows signs of wear and tarnish often with dirt or grime affecting its appearance. The coin might have lost some of its original luster and the details on both the obverse and reverse may be somewhat worn down. For collectors, the condition of a coin is crucial in determining its value coins in pristine condition with sharp details and no significant wear will naturally fetch higher prices. However, a coin in dirty condition, like the one we're discussing today, typically appeals more to casual collectors. 
those looking to complete a set without breaking the bank, so how does this 1958 wheat penny without a mint mark fare in today's auction market when it's in dirty condition? The value of such a coin can vary but generally it's modest because the 1958 penny is relatively common millions were minted its value in less than ideal condition isn't particularly high. As of now in 2024, a dirty 1958 wheat penny without a mint mark might sell for around $81,000 at auction that's right just a few cents more than its face value. While this might seem low it's important to remember that the sentimental and historical value of these coins often outweighs their monetary value especially for those who appreciate the rich history of American coinage you might be wondering if the coin's value is so low why collect it at all. Well, there are a few reasons. First, it's an excellent entry point for new collectors. You don't need to spend a lot to start building a collection of wheat pennies, and over time you can learn more about coin grading, preservation, and the history behind each piece. Second, completing a set of wheat pennies regardless of condition can be a rewarding challenge. Imagine the satisfaction of having a full collection spanning from 1909 to 1958, each coin representing a different chapter in American history. In conclusion, while the 1958 Abraham Lincoln wheat penny, without a mint mark in dirty condition might not make you rich it's still a fascinating piece of US. History its value in today's auction market may only be a few cents, but for many the real worth lies in the story it tells and the joy of collecting. Next up the 1952 Abraham Lincoln wheat penny, but this isn't just any 1952 penny, we're talking about one with an error condition making it even more intriguing and potentially valuable in today's auction market. Before we jump into the specifics of the 1952 era penny, let's take a brief look at the history behind the Lincoln Wheat Penny first introduced in 1909 to commemorate the 100th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. This coin was the first U.S. coin to feature a president's image. The Wheat Penny was minted until 1958, making it a staple for collectors due to its long history and the variations that came about over the decades. The 1952 Wheat Penny, in particular, was struck at the Philadelphia Mint, which is why there is no mint mark on the coin. Over 186 million of these pennies were produced, so in general they aren't rare. However, when you find one with an error, that's where things get interesting. Now what exactly do we mean by error condition error coins are those that have some sort of mistake that occurred during the minting process. This could include things like off-center strikes, double dies, clipped planchettes, or die cracks. These errors make the coin unique and collectors often seek them out because they represent a rare anomaly in the production process. For the 1952 wheat penny errors can vary widely. Some of the most sought-after errors include double die obverse repunched mint marks and die cracks that run across the coin. Each of these errors can significantly impact the value of the coin all right, so let's get to the part you've all been waiting for the value of a 1952 wheat penny in error condition in today's auction market. The value of any coin depends on a few key factors the type and severity of the error the coin's overall condition or grade and the demand among collectors. As of 2024, a standard 1952 wheat penny without errors typically sells for around $70,000 in circulated condition and maybe up to a few dollars in uncirculated or mint state condition. But when we add an error into the mix things change dramatically, for example a 1952 wheat penny with a noticeable double die error can fetch anywhere from $85,000 depending on how pronounced the doubling is and the overall grade of the coin. Penny with a more unusual error, like a large die crack or an off-center strike, could be worth even more, sometimes reaching up to several hundred dollars. At auction, these error pennies can spark bidding wars among collectors who are eager to add a unique piece to their collection. The prices can fluctuate, but if you have a 1952 wheat penny with a prominent error, you could be looking at a coin worth much more than just a cent. So what should you do if you think you have a 1952 error penny first? Take a close look at the coin using a magnifying glass or a microscope to identify any potential errors. Pay special attention to the date, the edges, and Lincoln's profile. If you spot something unusual, it might be worth having the coin professionally graded. Grading can help establish the coin's value by providing an expert assessment of its condition and the severity of the error a coin graded by a reputable service like the Professional Coin Grading Service or Numismatic Guarantee Corporation, will often fetch a higher price at auction. In conclusion, the 1952 Abraham Lincoln Wheat Penny in error condition is more than just a piece of old change. It's a potential treasure for collectors and history enthusiasts alike, whether you're looking to buy, sell, or simply learn more about your own collection, understanding the value of these unique coins is key. Next up, the 1956 Wheat Penny with the Denver Mint Mark. 
Specifically, we'll be discussing a coin in fine condition and what it's worth in today's auction market. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out this video, we'll give you valuable insights into this iconic coin, so stay tuned. Let's start with a bit of background on the 1956 Wheat Penny. The Wheat Penny, also known as the Lincoln Wheat Cent, was first minted in 1909 and continued to be produced until 1958. These pennies are named after the wheat stalks on the reverse side which symbolize prosperity. The obverse side features the iconic profile of President Abraham Lincoln, designed by Victor David Brenner. The 1956 Wheat Penny is particularly interesting because it was minted during the later years of the series, making it one of the last wheat pennies ever produced. The coin we're focusing on today has D-Mint mark indicating that it was minted at the Denver Mint. The Denver Mint is known for producing coins with sharp details and strong strikes which can affect the coin's value, depending on its condition. Now let's talk about the condition of the coin. The term fine condition is a specific grade in coin collecting a coin in fine condition shows moderate wear on the high points of the design, but the major features are still clear and well-defined for a 1956 wheat penny. This means you should be able to see most of Lincoln's details on the obverse and the wheat stalks on the reverse should be visible though they may show some signs of wear. It's important to note that the condition of a coin significantly impacts its value. Coins in fine condition are generally more affordable than those in higher grades like very fine or extra fine, but they still hold considerable value, especially for collectors who appreciate the historical significance of the piece. As of 2024, the value of this coin in fine condition typically ranges between $90,000. While this may not seem like much, it's important to remember that the coin's value can vary based on several factors including demand rarity and the specific details of the coin's condition coins with. Particularly strong strikes, fewer marks, or a better overall appearance might fetch a slightly higher price. Also keep in mind that the coin market can fluctuate. Coins like the 1956 wheat penny are still relatively common but as the years go by their numbers in circulation decrease which could potentially increase their value in the future. If you're considering selling a 1956 wheat penny in fine condition auctions can be a great place to do so the key to getting the best price is to present your coin in the best possible light, make sure it's clean, but don't overclean it as that can reduce its value providing clear high resolution. Images of both sides of the coin will help potential buyers assess its condition more accurately. When selling at auction, it's also wise to set a reasonable reserve price to ensure you don't sell your coin for less than it's worth. And remember, the more you can tell the potential buyers about the history and condition of your coin, the more likely you are to attract serious bids. In conclusion, the 1956 Wheat Penny with the D-Mint mark in fine condition is a small but fascinating piece of American history. While its value in the current market might not be sky high, it's a worthy addition to any collection, particularly for those who appreciate the story behind the coin, if you have one of these coins, consider holding onto it or selling it at auction for a fair price. And as always, keep an eye on the market coin values can change and who knows what the future might hold for this classic piece. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about coin values be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you don't miss any of our future uploads. Thanks for watching and next time happy collecting.